Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Dead Space. This is probably going to be the final video in this series, and we've come so far. Again, like, while I did play this game way back in, I think it was 2010? 2011? 2000? No, 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 no. What? Uh, 2014, I did originally upload a series on this years ago, but I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. The PC I had back then wasn't as good as the one as I have now. It was bog standard. So, uh, yeah. I decided to give it another go, another, another whirl. And that's basically, basically it. And here we are now. At the very end, at last. Finally, I can actually be proud and say, yes, I completed Dead Space and it wasn't really that scary. I mean, it, it is scary enough in and of itself, but... There are far scarier games out there. Not that I'm an expert on the matter, but I'm just saying. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, of almighty point. Why did that scare me? Oh my god. Where the hell do you think you're going? Ha! Ah! <laughs> you're right. Ah! Oh! Slay the pot. And there's a lot of boxes around you. Yeah, I knew that we're going to a boss battle. I just knew it. Oh god. What are you going to do with that great big pentagon of fools? Try to smite me? Maybe, maybe not. Just don't turn out all these smidgens because I can barely hear myself. Oh, so this is your final form, is it not?
that connect more easily. There goes the planet. Yeah, I thought the video would turn out like this. It would be a very short one. I mean, I knew I was at the very end. I could have very well finished the, the entire game in the last video or in the last part. But, as usual... Oh, we finally get to see our face at long last. But, uh, yeah. I thought this would happen in the last part. That there'd be hardly anything left or anything left to do in the game so it would end up being the shortest short each video Isaac it's me I wish I could talk to you I'm sorry oh and here we have a broken man <laughs> Jeez. No. And there we have it. That was Dead Space. No spoilers, any after credits. <sighs> okay, so final thoughts. That last uh, jump scare, kind of cheesy. You kind of expect these things. Because there is a bit of a build up to them. Especially in horror games, they're a bit of a cliche, you know that nothing's ever final. And speaking of final, of course, there's Dead Space 2. I don't think I'll start that, or maybe I will. I did I did play Dead Space 2 as well, going back a while ago, uh, on the PS3. I don't know, I didn't play a lot of it, mostly because I think I was a bit of a coward back then. I think it was just way too scary for me and I ended up trading it in literally about two weeks after I bought it. No word of a lie. Did the same with a few of the other horror games I had. I think Siren Blood Curse. Siren Games, they're a very good horror game. It's a pity that uh, Team Silent, or Team Team Siren, sorry. Team Silent or uh, for Silent Hill. But it, it's a pity that Team Siren got disbanded or they're no longer a, a part of the Sony publishing team or they're no longer under Sony's wing, they don't exist. Because that was a very, very, uh, a very good horror game. It's most, it's one of the most underappreciated horror games of its time, I think. Because Japanese horror games like that, they do horror right. 
it's not just cheap jump scare tactics like uh, Dead Space. It seems to be the way a lot of horror games have gone in recent years and I need to adjust my webcam because I'm off focus, I'm off center. There we go, that's a little better. Yeah, um, there was a bit of a renaissance of horror games back in 2012, 2013. 2014-ish with your likes of Amnesia, your Outlast, but again all of it was jump scare horror, but in saying that the scares were good especially in Outlast, Outlast you had that sense of vulnerability, you, didn't, you couldn't fight your enemies, you could only run away and hide and cower and hope to god you didn't get ripped apart. Amnesia, more or less the same thing. It had, had you feeling vulnerable, you're running away from monsters, you didn't know what the hell was after you, didn't want to look at them, you didn't want to be too close to them. Uh, it was a fairly unique experience with both games. So they took that concept of vulnerability and they ran with it and so did a lot of developers and publishers with a lot of other games. A lot of indie titles that I can't think of at the moment, but those are the only two that come to mind. Jeez, I'm rambling on. But as for Dead Space, again, a good combination of both horror, scares, and I suppose that sense of vulnerability as well, knowing that you're by yourself, you're isolated, you don't have anyone else to back you up. I suppose that's its uh, saving grace. And just the right amount of action as well, kind of like Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 being one of the best horror games of all time. Not the scariest, but in terms of how the Resident Evil franchise took a turn for the best. Because you still had... They took... Capcom took what they had with Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3 and later games, but they completely remade it from the ground up with your first person first person over the shooter style action the course weapon upgrades all that stuff and the same sense of vulnerability and yeah that, that that's been the key word in this last segment vulnerability that that alone makes a very good horror game Speaking of which, there is another new horror game coming out next year. It's not really a new one, it's Alone in the Dark. It's a remake of the entire series, and I'll be looking forward to that, but... Oh, chapter 12, the Dead Space. Uh, is there more? Um, military suit unlocked. Backstory logs unlocked. 50,000 credits awarded. 10 power nodes awarded. Impossible mode unlocked. Save my game, yes I will indeed. Save to the C drive, of course. Uh, yeah, keyword vulnerability, that's what makes a decent horror game, to be honest. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Alone in the dark. I'm not sure about the entire trailer for that. The monsters didn't look scary. They had this sort of, I don't know, generic sort of shine to them that you'd see in a lot of Unreal 5 indie horror games. Uh, you know the ones that I'm on about, I can't think of any off the top of my head but I played through a few of them. What a lot of indie devs love to do is add literal polish to the games, It's it just seems so unrealistic. Actually one game that comes to mind, Dead Souls. Uh, if it's not a full game, it will never be a full game. It was a demo, but that game will never come out. It will never, ever, ever be a full game. It was too similar to Silent Hill. And to be honest, it felt like a bit of a downgrade. It had a lot of sheen, a lot of shine, a lot of polish, but that was about it. It wasn't scary. And I don't see that game ever coming out. It was more like a tech demo. It was like something that a bunch of students came up with as an idea. Or is there own sort of a unique take on Silent Hill just as a little side project for their college work? But it, I don't think it's ever going to be a full game. Jeez, I've talked more about other games than Dead Space. Okay, well, but you know what? I'll just leave it at that. Dead Space, yeah, it, 
it's definitely a good game. It still stands up. I'll be looking forward to the remake whenever that comes out next year, July. No, not July. It's coming out in January, I think. January of next year. So that's only what two, three months around the corner. That is that's coming out fairly soonish. So yeah, I will be playing through that. I will be doing a let's play on it. Uh, so I will keep up the horror games as much as I can, and of course adventure games and whatever else I can think of off the top of my head, whatever suits my fancy. As for what I'm going to play through next, no idea. I'm going back and forth between Resident Evil 5 and Life is Strange True Colors, but I'd say I'm going to lean more towards Resident Evil 5 on the PS4 slash PS5, could be playing it on the PS5, because my PS4 is out of commission. Anyway guys, that's enough rambling for me, you know what to do, if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share and of course, like always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.